Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hi, I'm Josh Collins. And I'm Carolyn Birchall. Welcome to Conference Hacks. This is the show where we uncover everything you need to know to maximize your investment in any conference you attend and the art of hacking a conference. In this episode, we're going to cover how to promote yourself and your business to look like a pro at any conference. So Carolyn, what's the first thing that you want to be doing to look like a pro at a conference? I think the first thing is is that, you know, we get so many business cards and uh, to follow up on. Yeah. And what can generally happen is people get this massive pile of business cards, half the time they don't remember what it yeah. was that they spoke to that person about. And then when they go back home, they don't follow up on them properly. Right. So the best thing to do, and it does definitely show professionalism, if mm -hmm. you get onto that straight away. So mm -hmm. what I do is I take photos of my business yep. cards that mm -hmm. I receive. I take photos into Evernote. And then I can audio into Evernote either a voice note or I can type notes as well. Um, if you're seeing at a stand multiple people at a time, I just have a black Sharpie and I might write something on the back. Okay. And then I'll do, like when there's a bit of a break, I'll then take all my Flick photos. through them all. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then what I do is my executive assistant, when I've got yeah. about 20 in there, I'll let her know. Mm -hmm. She then goes and transcribes all those business cards into my contacts. Yeah. So I can then refresh with my contacts and then all of a sudden I've got all those contact details on my right. phone. And there's loads of these apps, isn't there? Like, there's not, it's not yes. just Evernote. There's a whole, you know, group of apps in that in that same spectrum. Yeah, I think spectrum. so. We'll like, I use I like Evernote because I use Evernote anyway, yeah. and so I've got a notebook on every single conference I went to. Yeah. And I can share it with different people. But there's definitely apps that you can just scan business cards. Yeah, okay. Or, uh, you know, even if someone simply just took a photo and yeah. emailed it to, to get it taken yeah. care of or save the photos on Google Photos or mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. like that. The thing for me, um, why I particularly like Evernote, is that because... I can then, my EA, I can have some standard responses. So if there's just information that I've said that I'm going to share with someone, yeah. she can already send it off for me before yeah. I even go home. Yeah. And I'll tell them that it's my EA that will, will send you an email with all that information. Yeah. And so then she can write a note that, yes, on this date that it was done, there you go. And that, that's really professional. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. And yeah. the turnaround time on that is phenomenal to really go from, you know, that conversation that you had at whatever conference in wherever country you were yes. and get that content back to that person within a matter of hours yeah. is phenomenal. And then what you're trying to do is leave the ones where you do need to work on a little bit or perhaps think a bit more about when you get home, for yeah. sure. But then there's only maybe a handful of those that you have to work Absolutely. on rather than every business card that you came across. Yeah, yeah. So the other thing uh, I think is really important is around social media. I yeah. think uh, there's a lot that people can really take advantage of social mm. media. One of the things I started doing, it took me a little while too because yeah, I wasn't quite used to FaceTime. Yeah. But FaceTime, it can be a bit scary at it first. It can be at first because yeah. you feel like you're talking to yourself. Yeah. Um, but actually it's a really great medium. One, I think it's great for your customers or users or clients so that they know that you're at the event. You mm. can share all sorts of things. You can share what you've learned. You might have just listened to a great speaker yeah. and you just get on and, and it's meant to be casual. It doesn't have totally. to be formal. I literally will be in the middle of the event somewhere I plug in my headsets because they've got a speaker on it and I, I just start recording and yeah. say, hey, I'm at this conference. I might take them a bit of a walkthrough and I said, I've just listened to this fantastic speaker. They've just talked about this yeah. new technology and, you know, it doesn't have to go on for very long. Most of mine usually only Can go on sure? for a couple of minutes. Yeah. And, and then once you've got it and then people start watching, I also let people know in advance I will be FaceTiming from the event mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. people know to look out for it. Then what we do is... I let the team know that I've done a, a FaceTime. They go in, and you can Google to find out how to do this. They download it, 
from uh, Facebook and then they top and tail it with an intro and yeah, outro yeah, and, and stick it up onto YouTube. Yeah. Right? And so then you're getting an even broader audience because mm. you put it on YouTube, you've written that you're at this conference so that if people start searching that conference or searching yeah. you, then the chances are they'll find that mm -hmm. FaceTime video on YouTube mm. as well. And I think one of the great things with Facebook Live is too is that you really do build a following yes. where, wherever you go. And, you know, certain people, I guess, and, and in this instance too works really well is hashtagging that um, in Absolutely. actually being able to provide a hashtag that goes along with the relevance of whatever your Facebook Live is. Yes. Um, I don't know, you've been really good at um, you know, creating some hashtags around you know, different events that you've been to yes. and that I've seen. Um, but you know, what are the examples that you have on, on that? So the thing with hashtags, if you do, like you obviously want to use the hashtag that the conference organizers have themselves, which yeah. they usually do. And generally companies have their own hashtag. Mm. So you want to use that as well. But I also think it's good to create a hashtag for that event. So it might be like say 2017 Bryn Web Summit. Yeah, okay. And so you've got your company name in there, you've got the conference name and then the year. Mm. And so that's really good as well because mm. it can get picked up. But and you, you can, can search get... those hashtags too, right? Like Absolutely. going back through. So you, you get full transparency on everybody at the event that's yes. hashtagging a particular, you know, stage or, you know, piece of content or, or anything. Yes. Yeah. And I just think like this um, around that. So we take a lot of photos at events mm. and we put a watermark at the bottom. Mm. So then every photo we take, everyone knows that it's from that event. And mm. so every time while we're, you know, over the three or four days, constantly people are getting this message that, yep, we're here, we're at yep. this event and that type of thing. And then again, at the end of each day, our team back home download those photos and upload them to a Flickr album. Yes. for that event. Yes. So again, you're getting greater exposure than just whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whatever, wherever yeah. you posted it. Yeah. But if you put it on Flickr as well, then you're getting even more exposure. Yeah. But I love about, you know, how you guys are doing this so actively during the conference. Because yes. I think a lot of things when you kind of, you know, wait a week or two weeks, the, the, the relevance tends to, to, to kind of fade away as the further... To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.